Hello everyone, welcome back to Baby Reviews in our little hotel apartment room in San Diego doing the typical thing every time I go on holiday which is finish a beer so we can't take with us as we carry on. Uh, this one was recommended uh, to me by Guy in Crisp, uh, the beer store, he said it's one of his favourite beers produced by a uh, Californian brewer. Uh, they are from, um, I can't, it's Yucaipa, Yucaipa, something like that, California. Don't want to mispronounce it. This is Brew Rebellion, who have a range of beers that they do funky stuff with, add funky flavours to. Um, and this one in particular is the John Paul Jones Stout, uh, white chocolate and raspberry, uh, which definitely sounds interesting. It appeals to me a lot because I had an Imperial Raspberry Stout by Pipe Works in Chicago recently and I absolutely adored it. Um, so this sounds right in my street. It clocks in at 10 point, 10 point something covered over by the wax and I've removed the cap already because uh, it's always hilarious seeing me trying to remove wax top uh, bottle caps. So if I pour some out into a glass, Unsurprisingly, me being a stout, it is pretty pitch black in colour. It has a nice kind of milky chocolate coloured head in it as well that looks like it could be starting to lace quite beautifully. Um, there is a bit of carbonation in there actually. Uh, you can just see bubbles on the side of the glass kind of start to spring up a bit. So, let's get a nose in there, give it a good old smell. <laughs> yeah, it's raspberry, it's loads of raspberry on that. A real fresh raspberry aroma. Um, again, not too dissimilar to the Imperial Raspberry Stout I had by Pipeworks. It's kind of completely counterintuitive what you expect to smell from an Imperial Stout, and I do like that. Um, I'd be hard pushed to say I could smell chocolate, but um, I eat a much more salt flavour than, than the raspberry, so I imagine it'll probably come through in the flavour. So, cheers everyone, let's go to try. Yeah, it's got a really thick body to it. It's nice and rich, quite deep. I get an almost smoky flavour actually. Almost kind of that, that baking smoky note. And then you get a kind of that fruity raspberry flavour. Um, then it kind of tarts up, it gets quite dry at the back and a little bit bitter on the tongue. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of smoke. Again, I'm not particularly finding white chocolate. I'm not getting. It's not very sweet, actually. The, the raspberry tartness, that raspberry flavour, is the only sweetness that's in there. Can't say it's white chocolate. It is quite a subtle flavour, anyway. Um, but I'm getting a big hit of raspberry and, and that, that kind of smoky flavour. Uh, I'm not much else. It's, it's definitely an interesting beer. Definitely an interesting beer, but just not as rounded out as said that raspberry um, truffle abduction that I had. Uh, that just had more chocolate flavour and, and rounded the whole beer out. I do like the body in it, I do like the flavours that are there, it is certainly interesting. Uh, I'm going to give this a nice AR10. Um, I wanted, I'd like to try some of their other stuff, some of their other uh, stouts and, and the additions they put into them and see how they work as well. I've not had the uh, just John Paul Jones stout, so I, couldn't, I can't really compare it to what that one's like. Uh, but it's certainly an interesting variety on it, um, and it's, yeah, yeah, I'll tell you it's pretty good. So please like, favourite, comment and subscribe. Until the next baby review everyone, cheers.